YouTube! Uh, it's me, Ryan. Welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be introducing you to something that I've been working on a lot. It's called Comfy Stream. And at a high, high level, it lets you run comfy UI workflows in real time. It's super sweet. Originally authored by Yondan Fu, the powerful Yondan Fu. And since then, uh, I've been working on it with the team at Live Peer, and uh, we've gotten it to a pretty, pretty cool spot. It's a lot of fun to play with. So I'm really, really excited to show it to all of you. I'll be going over what Comfy Stream is at a high level, how to, how you can launch it and try for yourself pretty easily, and then also um, a workflow and how the workflow works. So how does Comfy Stream work? Comfy Stream takes a video stream as an input and takes each frame of that input stream and runs it through a comfy UI workflow and then cannibalizes the output from that workflow and formulates it back into the output stream, which you then look at with your eyeballs. That's what comfy stream is. I'm sort of glossing over a ton, uh, but uh, you know, say less is what, what I always say. All right, let me shrink this down like so. Let's talk about how you can go ahead and try this for your very self. Step one would be to find $25 and use it to fund your RunPod account. Then simply select a 4090 in any region, just select a 4090, it's gotta be a 4090. And then click, select change template here and search for live peer. Uh, live peer, comfy stream, no volume. Then click deploy and that's it. Wait about 10 minutes and it should spin up. Then you just go to your pods over here. I've already got it running, so I'm not gonna launch another one. I've, for me, this took uh, about 10 minutes, maybe 12 minutes. So click this connect button and it was bugged out for me. This, this button here was not there. So I just had to launch a new one and, and then it worked just fine. So when you click this button, it will open Comfy UI in a new tab. Next, I'll go through this workflow, and then finally, I'll show you how to launch the workflow in Comfy Stream. Hey, Editing Ryan here. I just want to interject and show you how you can get your hands on this workflow really quick. So, in this RunPod image, the workflow is included. You can access it by clicking this folder icon here on the left-hand side of the screen. And it is SD15 multi CNET depth anything face. That's the one. So, open this up, and you'll be presented with what he's about to go over in this video. Back to the other guy. All right, so I had mentioned that acceleration, uh, it, like the faster the workflow, the better. Um, th there's another caveat, which is that we need one input and one output in order for Comfy Stream to send the input stream to a specific node and then retrieve the output stream from a specific node. So you need to have one primary input and then only one output. The input can be a, a, a load image node like this. There's also a primary input load image node, and this allows you to have multi, uh, like, then you can use this as an auxiliary input or something. And then for the output, you can either have a preview image or a save image. That is basically the only, the only two requirements there. It's gotta be fast and it's gotta have a primary input and one output. Those are the requirements. Everything else should work just fine, uh, but it's gotta be really, really fast. So as I go through this workflow, I'll show you how everything has been accelerated. All right, let's just go uh, down the line here. Up at the top, we're using TensorRT to accelerate Dream Shaper, but it's not just any Dream Shaper. It's a one-step distilled DMD version of Dream Shaper. So we're taking a one step, it's distilled so that you get a good image with one step. And then we're accelerating that with TensorRT. It's blazing fast, can do like 30 images in a second easily. Okay, next, <clears throat> let's go over the control nets. We're using two of them here to guide the, the input. Um, well, let me uh, reorganize a little bit here, bang. Okay, so we're using two control nets. We're using depth, and then we're using one um, called media pipe face, uh, which is just, it uses media pipe, like a face mesh to help follow the facial movements. So we're loading both of these control nets, and then we're using torch compile to speed them up, okay? 
Next, let's talk about the VAE. We're using this tiny VAE. So it's very fast in, in comparison to a regular old VAE, but that's not enough. We're also going to use Torch Compile to accelerate it. I'll come back to this, but for the, now we need to talk about the pre-processing for the two control nets. So we talked about the models for the control nets, now the pre-processing. So we're using depth and that face control net. So we're using depth anything accelerated with Tensor RT. So depth anything version two is already very, very fast. And then we've accelerated it again with Tensor RT. So this is really, really fast to get us a depth map. And then media pipe is already optimized for real time. So this is just an implementation of that in the live peer stream pack. Okie dokie. So there's the control nuts, the VAE, and the pre-processing for the control nuts. All we have left, um, so with TensorRT, you know, we don't get the clip portion of the pipeline here. So we just manually load a, a stable diffusion uh, text encoder and then use this set last layer. Okay, that covers all of the inputs. Um, then you've just got your standard pipeline here uh, with your, your text prompt until this one caveat, since we're using Torch Compile, in order to use multiple control nets, we have to weave them together like this. Normally, as you all probably know, normally you would just literally connect them like this. But since we're using Torch Compile, the second one overwrites the first one. And the way around that is using these little conditioning concat nodes. So we just this is, this is all the positives, this is all the negatives, and then we just pass it to the K-sampler. Let's talk about the settings on the K-sampler here. You can see we're using two steps. We can get away with it because we don't really use the, all the VRAM. Um, we're working on ways to accelerate this way more too. It's gonna be awesome. Um, CFG is set to one. This will affect performance, so keep it, keep it low, probably at one. Uh, we're gonna use the LCM sampler. And then normally here, I would use SGM uniform, but we found that normal is a little bit faster. Finally, we decode the latent using our ultra fast, tiny torch compiled VAE, and then we get our output. That's that, that's the whole workflow. Okay, now we talked about what Comfy Stream is, what the workflow requires and how this one works. Let's talk about launching it in Comfy Stream. So you can see up here, you've got a little Comfy Stream menu. You just select start Comfy Stream server and give it a second. If you want, you can use this toggle bottom bottom panel here, and you can see the output from the Comfy Stream server right there, integrated with Comfy UI. Now that it's running, we can go ahead and open the Comfy Stream UI. Excellent. So at this point, I would love to show it to you, but I don't know how to configure OBS properly, so it won't let me select my cameras when I have OBS running. Perhaps editing Ryan will will uh, in it will make damn spit it out son it's me editing ryan you can tell because i'm wearing sunglasses let's go ahead and open this workflow in comfy stream so here you can access the workflow if you haven't already by clicking this little folder icon on the left it's sd15 multi scene at depth anything face go ahead and open it you'll be presented with the workflow here at which time you should export it in API format, uh, select the export API here and save it to your computer. In future iterations of Comfy Stream, we'll make it a little bit more seamless, but for now, you save it to your computer, then select uh, open Comfy Stream UI and it will pop open a new tab and you'll be presented with this stream settings page. You don't need to change anything here, except you need to, to select your camera and select the workflow that you just saved and then click start stream. So for me, it started up almost instantly, but for the, the first time you start it up, it, it'll need to warm up for a second. So let's go over how to use this a little bit further. It's cut off by my OBS capture, but down at the bottom right-hand side of the screen, you'll see a cog wheel, a settings wheel. Click that and you'll be presented with this little drawer. In this drawer, you can add any number of these control panels. The control panels can be linked to any node in your workflow. So let's and then you can control parameters of the node in real time. It's pretty fun. So let's do the control net for the, uh, the depth control net and select the strength parameter. 
and I'm going to turn on auto update. There's a debounce, so let's see. See, it gets a little bit more pencil sketchy, but you also, like, it's trying to turn my fingers into pencils, you know, so it's a trade-off as, as it always is, but let's turn this back up a little bit, and you'll see it gets my hand a little bit better. It's, it got it backwards, but <laughs> pretty, pretty decent. Um, another fun thing you can do is update the prompt. And then I'm going to go ahead and pop over here. This is a newer iteration of Comfy Stream. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, subscribe because he's the other guy is going to go over a lot more variations of this workflow. He's also going to show you this up and coming gamepad integration where you can hook up any sort of game pad or even a microphone to comfy stream and control these parameters uh, without you, it, it'll you can control it with mouse and key also but it's just more intuitive this way it's a lot of fun let me change the prompt using the trigger on the on the game pad anyways um, it's gonna be really fun it's really cool lots of cool stuff coming so uh, subscribe to the channel Back to the other guy. That's going to cover it for this workflow. I've been super excited to share this with you guys. I hope you think it's as cool as I do. Um, if, you, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, because I'm going to be releasing more videos on Comfy Stream. Also got it working with microphones. Uh, so with audio input. It's going to be sweet, dude. But um, I'm waiting for that to get merged in. Until such time as that gets merged in, I'll be showing you a whole bunch of other workflows. So anyways... I got no sleep, so I've been rambling, but subscribe to the damn channel. I'm still Ryan. All right, bye.